Hi friends. I thought I'd have you join me today during one of the mundane tasks that I do every single day, multiple times a day. And you might too. Any guesses? If you guess dishes, ding, 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 you're correct. <laughs> now you probably did not click on this video to watch me wash dishes for the next five minutes. But I want you to know today that dishes and devos aren't as far apart as you might think. When I was in Bible college, everyone in leadership had to read this tiny little book by a, by, by a guy named Brother Lawrence, and it's called Practicing the Presence of God. Brother Lawrence was admitted to a Carmelite monastery as a monk in 1666, and he thought by devoting his whole life for God, he could do something monumental when it came to God's work. But to his surprise, he was given kitchen duty. And he writes in his book that he was a big kind of clumsy guy and kitchen duty was a bit of a challenge for him. But the way he tackled that challenge is the reason that we were reading his book three centuries later. And it's that example that I read about long ago that came to my mind as I tackled my mundane task today. You know, Lawrence struggled with working in the kitchen when he really wanted to do something meaningful and monumental for God. But in the end, he made a great discovery. In the midst of the chaos and the drudgery of the kitchen, he found that even the most mundane task, like washing dishes, can be done in God's presence, giving even the most humble work a spiritual emphasis. So how do you spend your days? What's in your hands today? For Brother Lawrence, he spent his time in the kitchen preparing meals and cleaning pots and pans. He spent his days finding greater devotion to God and doing the dirty dishes. One of my favorite writings of his says this, Lord of all the pots and pans and things, since I've no time to be a great saint by doing lovely things, make me a saint by getting the meals and washing up the plates, warm all the kitchen with thy love and light it with thy peace. Forgive me all my worrying and make my grumbling cease. Thou who didst love to give men food and room or by the sea, accept the service that I do. I do it unto thee. Amen. That prayer of his reminded me today that it's in the details. It's in the nuts and bolts, the ins and outs, the pots and pans and dirty oatmeal dishes that God truly wants to work with us. And we can practice his presence by realigning our focus when we go about our day. As I do these dishes, what is my motivation today? I saw this coffee mug not long ago that said, today's goal, keep the tiny humans alive. <laughs> and that totally cracked me up. But I have to admit, you guys, that sometimes at the end of the day, that feels like the only goal that I've met. I lay down and I'm exhausted and I feel like I've done everything and I've accomplished nothing. Have you ever been there? Well, I can tell you right now that earthly goals and motivations can work for a while, but they're fleeting. This is by design. God made us to long for more than earthly goals and motivations, to long him, to long to know him in the deepest parts of who we are. So what I do and how I do it is not nearly as important to God as a heart resolved to do anything and everything out of love and devotion to him. Brother Lawrence wrote, we ought not to be weary of doing little things for the love of God, who regards not the greatness of the work, but the love by which it is performed. My motivation today, no matter what I do, is to know you better, Jesus, to love you deeper as I go about my day, to see you everywhere in everything, to make my goal becoming more like you in all that I do. And I can practice his presence today by determining that every task is for him and he is in every task because he is intimately present in everything I do as a believer. Whether we're selling cars or writing code or keeping children or building homes, it's in our actual work, the mundane and the monumental, the stinky and the significant, that God uses to shape us to be more and more like the image of his son. For Brother Lawrence, the day-to-day -day dirty jobs did not change, but his heart and his mind sure did. And I pray that the same is true for you and me today. So what was his secret? He knew the truth of Colossians 3.23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord and not for men. 
So just the thought of all the little tedious tasks you have to do today might fill you with dread and might leave you feeling weary even before you begin. But I want you to know today that even in those things, God is ever present. And we can practice being in his presence, not after those things, but during and in each and every humble moment. I encourage you to practice his presence today, friends. Be motivated by love for him and do everything as unto him. Let your dishes be devotion to him and with him today. Dear Jesus, I thank you, God, for all the little tasks you've given us because it's in those things that you want to work with us and through us. I pray that we would draw closer to you today, God, that you would make every task a spiritual one, God, because we would practice being in your presence, loving you and drawing closer to you in everything that we do, for nothing is too small for you to be ever present in it, God. Remind us that you are intimately close to us in all that we say and do. And I pray you would lift up my friend's head out there, God, that they would know today, Jesus, that the drudgery, <laughs> the things that seem mundane can be monumental when we do them in your presence. We love you so much, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy your dishes.